What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I am going to be going through the whole updated list of all the summer sets coming out this year. We've got such a good year coming guys. Hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button if you want to see me go out buy these sets, build these sets, and all that good stuff. I have made a video about this not too long ago, but we have had a lot of sets like numbers filled in, lots more information about some of the sets. So we're just gonna skim through the ones we basically know a lot about, and then we're gonna talk about the ones that we're not 100% sure about, or we know more about now. So if you're excited, guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and tell me down below what set you're most excited for coming out this year. So number seven, five. 323, three. number one on our list is going to be Cad Bane's ship. So it's going to have 1,022 pieces, it's going to be 160 euros, and this set looks pretty, pretty good. Next one is the N1 Starfighter. This is 75325, 412 pieces, and it's going to be 70 euros. This is on the LEGO website already for pre order. This set looks like a neat little set, honestly. Super excited to get it in my collection. It's got the new BD1 mold which is super cool. And like I say, this set, it's not like the best set ever. This is just a set I think LEGO wanted to make sure they get out this year. And it looks half decent. There's nothing to complain about really. It'd be good to get a couple of characters we haven't got already. 75329 is a Death Star Trench Run, which is super excited. That is gonna be $60. Obviously, that's on the website. I'm not going to talk about that too much. 75330, Yoda's Training, $80. Super excited to get that set. It looks awesome. Probably the best of the three. And then we'll get into the first unknown, 75331, unknown. And this is probably going to be like the Master Build set, slash UCS set, slash whatever is coming out this year. It's $530. Super expensive set. Not sure. We haven't had too many details about this set. There was a rumour going around that it could be a UCS Razor Crest, which I don't know if I see that happening. Obviously, the Razor Crest is definitely an iconic ship. The play version of it is amazing, one of the best sets come out in the last couple of years. But it's been blown up now. It's not It's not going to be rebuilt, I don't think, obviously, unless LEGO knows something we don't. But it's forgotten about now, it's been done, it's an awesome ship, but Mando's got his N1 Starfighter now. So that is probably out the window. And the fact that we're getting the UCS Land Speeder, usually we get like a, a place, an area, a Master Builder set. So like a Genosis Arena, a Endor set, a Hoth set. Those are some of the other options that I think it could be. But, like I say, the only rumour so far has been a Razor Crest. I doubt, personally. 75332, ATST 4 plus set, 82 pieces, 30 euros. When it comes to Snow Trooper, 8080 driver. 75333, Jedi Starfighter, obi wans Jedi Starfighter, 282 pieces, 30 euros. Super excited about this set to get it in my collection. If you haven't already seen my top five. Sets that I'm excited for this year. That vid set was actually mentioned in there. So go click that in the description after this video, of course. Super excited to get this. I haven't actually gotten over one's Jedi Starfighter. Like, I really missed out. I missed out on the hyperdrive one. So it'd be super cool for me to get a Jedi Starfighter in my collection. Right, something interesting now. 75334, an Obi-Wan Kenobi location. 408 pieces, 50 euros. So this set's going to be really interesting, I guess. Obviously, we know more than we did before, but we still know very, very little. It looks, it probably will be good. 50 euros is quite a lot for like a location set. So it'd be interesting to see like if quite a few characters come with it, if we have like a battle scene. We've got it could potentially be on a Death Star. It could be a Darth Vader's castle. Who knows where it could be, but it's an interesting nonetheless set. And there's not too much more we can talk about that one, but it's going to have 408 pieces and it's going to be 50 euros. So it's not like a small location set, if you know what I mean. Next is 75335 BD1. 1,062 pieces, it's going to be 130 euros. So that's going to be a big set, decent set. That is one that I'm quite excited for. I'm not going to lie. This cool set could either look absolutely awesome or it could look a bit hit and miss. Like the Probe Droid, it was a, it, it is a good set, the Probe Droid, but it's also one of those ones where if you didn't get it, it doesn't matter. I hope it's one of those sets that you, you should want, you really should want, but BD1 coming out. So that's one we knew about before. And then 75336, Obi-Wan Kenobi Starship, 924 pieces. It's going to be 100 euros. So obviously so more far because we haven't seen the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. The only one I can guess is it's the one off the trailer, which does look like an awesome, awesome ship. And there are lots and lots of characters from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, from the trailer even, that we could potentially get in that set, which is super, super cool, super exciting. And 100 euros for a set. So that is going to be a decent 
size shape hopefully so that should be an absolute awesome one i'm glad we got some like more knowledge about that because originally that was going to be that was the predicted atte and then the next set which is 753370 that's got 1082 pieces was going to be the predicted republic gun shape but obviously no the atte has got the 1082 pieces at 140 euros and that set sounds like it's gonna be awesome we've had lots more rumors that potentially getting a phase two cody 212 troopers and no b1 kenobi maybe with the new printing like the mace windu but super excited for all those sets they sound absolutely awesome and 75338 a set that we didn't know anything about before it's it's going to be an andor set so i don't know if that's a bit premature i don't know i'm not 100 when the andor series is coming out but apparently we're getting it this year it's going to be 70 dollars and all we've got is literally it's an andor set so it'd be interesting to see what that is. For $70, it's probably going to be a vehicle of some sort. So that's super. It could be another UI, or it could be something else like we saw in Rogue One before. Then we got 75339 Trash Compactor, 75340 The Advent Calendar, 75341 UCS Luke's Land Speeder. Super cool. 75342 The Republic Fighter Tank, which I'm super excited for. Obviously, that's on the website already, along with the trash compactor. And then there's one set on my list that I'm not 100% sure about, and that's the 75343. It's still unknown, so I'm not sure where I've got that from. Honestly, I wrote all these down. I went through all the reliable Instagram pages, and that was there. It's 75343, an unknown set that's $60. I couldn't find anything. Nobody's mentioned anything about that set so far. So it'd be really interesting to see what that is going to be. The only thing I think is it is going to be a book of Boba Fett set. Because obviously we've had Boba Fett's throne room, but that is it so it'd be interesting to see if it's one of them maybe there was obviously the rancor one that was like a potential set so who knows honestly but i don't even know if we're going to actually get that set because obviously lego can cut sets they can still add sets to this list as well so it'd be really really interesting so guys that has been the full updated list. Like I say, I'm super excited for the sets to come out this year. And we'll see what happens. I think this year is going to be very, very expensive on the old wallet. But yeah, super excited for all the sets. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below if you're excited to see me get all these sets in my collection. Add them, spend lots of money, have hauls, vlogs, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.